Hey Cover Artist Fishy Fan here, and in this video I'll be doing a quick demo for my deck profile on the Bunny Beast Tamer Tala Eeps. Um I'll be doing a going first and going second hand here. Um keep in mind that this is like right after I did my uh, tips and tricks video, so um everything is probably still stuck together. I tried my best to shuffle it as best as possible, but you know things are bound to get stuck together, so I'll just try to work around that if I can, uh, to try to show you the most optimal combos that I can. Um so, you know, just stay tuned for that. Um, so let's get started here. This is going first. So I'll draw my initial five. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just switch everything for you guys to see a bit better. So this should open the hand this is great so we have our two premier rides here um just to help you find another bunny beast uh help you find another beast hammer and this is your preferred grade two so this uh your grade three has a um target to make a vanguard so i'll be taking or i'll draw for turn of course Or no, not for turn. I'm just doing. I'm looking first. So this and this will keep, and these will put back. So one, two, three. Not so bad. We don't have a grade three, but we have a way to uh, check for one. I'm trying to shuffle as best as possible so not everything is stuck together. Um, it looks like I did a pretty good job. So here we have our starting hand. We're going to draw for turn. Perfect, we found our grade three. Um, the next thing you want to look for is our um, golden beast timer to be able to use or one of our um, utility cards. So we'll play uh, Amusa Bunny. And uh, we'll draw a card first. Good for anti rush. And then we'll check top seven for um, a beast hammer. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. We have Amaranth beast hammer. So put everything else back and shuffle. We have something to the hand. We have to put something into soul. So we already have a missing bunny in, uh, in our soul. We can just put this in, put this away for later. And we still need um, our go to beast hammer. So I will go ahead and play the beast hammer. I'll play a uh, masquerade bunny behind the vanguard here. This is just uh, uh, so to make our grade two. Uh, unblockable because it'll get trim drive for having the three uh, three bunnies and so on the board here. So we played our masquerade and we checked out five for our uh, four grade three. So one, two, three, four, five. Tough because you always want to have like a rewrite. Um, and in this case, we already have this as an option. So what I'll do is normally I will take the golden beast hammer but I will probably well you know what I'll take golden beast hammer and the reason being you know with all these decks like I said in my other videos with all these decks that you know gain a big mass full of hand I am trying to you know yank that hand out I know a lot of people want to hold this as a finisher but uh Look, I I want the hand. They do not need to be getting 15, 16 card hands. I want the hand. So 
So we have it here, and then we have, have something to discard, so we'll discard the um, draw trigger. So then we'll pass turn, and our opponent will give us a damage. So we'll take it down there. And we got a front trigger. So by now our opponent sees we have our front, and our power will less likely to guard. So then we'll stand and we will draw for our next turn. Hmm. More heals. Now when you're riding up into your first crazy turn, uh, the most damage you want to have is two. One for your Teleute skill and one for your uh, Beast Hammer skill. Um, this deck is really not counter blast heavy at all. Besides those two, you don't have any else, anything else that really uses counter blast except for maybe your... Um, your Midnight Bunny, if you want to do like uh, shenanigans with her. So next we're right, uh, we're right up to grade two. Our grade two is online here, so you have uh, you have three or more bunnies uh, in soul and on the field. This is plus one drive. Now we have a uh, grade two to push if we want, but like I said, you know, you kind of want to keep these uh, for, you know, enabling plays on your more stronger turns here. So what you can do is, you know, you will play the skill here. And because you have multiple of the heal triggers, um, after this turn, it's not really going to do much. So, you know, um, putting it in for a multi-attack is good. Um, I'm going to be bringing out our uh, Amusing Bunny, you know, to put a trigger on. And uh, it's so good because uh, you can attack with it and then put it back into the soul later on. So then we'll go with our drive checks. We get two. So we got a second uh, 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 second ride here. So nothing, nothing. We take damage. Uh, they may block this one, whatever. And we'll put it back in the soul to protect it. And on your opponent's turn, um, say they uh, attack you and you need the damage. So you take uh, you take one. And I said they crit you, so you take another one. So you stand, and then you'll draw for your turn. So we have another Emirates Beast Tamer. We'll take your hand right here, and then what we'll do is we will ride up into our uh, big boy here, and we will be getting. Excel two. I know this is the one, but I'm using it as a two and we will uh, draw for it. So this is where we start setting up our board. So we have three open counter blasts. We only really need the two, but we got crit last turn, so that's fine. Now, because he can only call out um, grade two or lower, you want to, if you're gonna use the go to beast hammer, you want to use, the, uh, you want to put it on the rear guard first, and then once you use it, you can make this a vanguard. So uh, now with your Vanguard skill here, you see that we have a three MRS speed timer. So what we'll do is we're going to kind of blast one. Kind of blast this. And we'll put one MRS speed timer in and then one uh, hmm. and the uh, Hmm. What do I want to do? So we have three MR speed terms. You want to put one in. You could put two in because you already have one. And then you'll call two. So you can call this here. the beast hammer here if you like let you put that in and 
And because you want to have more bunnies into soul, you can play uh, this grade two here. You draw a card and then you put one into soul. So in this case, you probably put, you know, your heel. Or you know you want to put your front because you don't really want, you don't really want to let your opponent know that you 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 have all your heels in. Your hand. <laughs> so now is the attacking phase. First you want to do what well, first you, what you want to do is um, add all the power. So she gets plus five for calling something from soul. She gets plus five for calling something from soul. One or more being called from soul. And then you tally up all the bunnies that you will have. So you have one, two, three. So that's three to the front row. And then you have another three from having five or more uh, units. So you get, so this is six in all. So you want to be careful when you're adding up the power here because, you know, once you start sucking things into soul, if you don't have five or more, you lose the 3K from, uh, from Golden Beast Timer. So just make sure you are aware of that when you are, you know, making your moves here. So here you have three cards in hand. Um, you have one card, you know, if you really need to, to suck in for go to Beast Hammer. But what you first first thing you want to do is attack with your Vanguard here. That way, if you get in front or anything, it's passed all around. So then we have, uh, so this is 12, uh, 12, 18, uh, 28, 29, 30, 31. 31 with the Vanguard, and this is uh, two drives. First is a crit, never see it coming. So you crit here, the Vanguard, and power here to go to Beast Hammer to make her let to make her deadly. And second check, we have our Midnight Bunny. So your opponent takes two damage. Then what you want to do is attack with this, because you're gonna clear this with this uh with this column here. So this is uh nine, ten, nine, ten, thirteen. So this is fourteen. Fourteen, fifteen, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, uh twenty. 14 and 20 for 20 so you attack for 20 and then you have this here and you'll put this into soul and this will get an extra 3k So this is 12, uh, so this is 20, 26, so 26, and you know, you now this is clear. Um, so say after that, um, like I said, you always want to prioritize putting these away first. So you'll put this away. Uh, if they get rid of uh, Gold Beast Tamer, it's fine because you still have uh, Chlorina to make as a Vanguard. And then next you'll uh, attack with uh, Gold Beast Tamer and use your skill. So you're kind of best one. And so in a card, which will be a bunny that you have, that you checked. So not only um, do you get two units off of this, you get an extra 1k for having another bunny.
So in this case, like I said, you know, you don't have five units, so it'll go back down. But in this case, you know, you call it now two more, so it'll just go back up. So I'll just leave it. So let's see what I'll call. I'll call two amusing money. And she still gets her drive checks. So check one, critical trigger. You know, say they block that for whatever reason. Critical, and you'll put power here. This is one. Check two, heal trigger. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you're not healing, but you're getting power here. Jeez, all these triggers. So you got a kind of healthy hand to guard with, and then you have this last row here. So this is 8 and 8. Uh, this is 16, 26, 36. Uh, just enjoy the 9, 44, 2, 4, 3, 43, uh, 2, great. And that's a going first hand here. So I'll just clean this up and go in for a going second. And another good thing about this, this is not like uh, stuck behind your, you know, your, your opponent being grade three this and grade three that. You know, it uh, really hinders, you know, the gameplay when you do things like that. You know, I don't really mind, you know, I wouldn't really mind if I, if, you know, if we were playing against decks that, um, that all had that restriction. But since we don't, I don't think it's fair that some decks do and then some decks, you know, you just do stuff for free. Up. I'm doing a good shuffle. I normally do 20, you know, at the end of a game to make sure it's good and shuffle. 15 is fine too, but 20 I find is a good number. And I also, you know, when I'm doing this, 11, I like to put even shuffles. So, 19. there so we're gonna start again and this time we'll be going second this deck normally likes to go first just because the first grade three turn um if you don't have the uh go to beast hammer it is not as explosive so you want to you know be going first normally um but if you go second you get the quick shield something that you can ditch to me i mean to uh, dig deeper into your deck so that's not so bad either so let's just start here with five. Mm, 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 mm. Let's see what we have. So we have a grade one and a grade two. And we putting these three back. All right, this is what I want to see. And then we have uh this for a grade three searcher and this for a grade two searcher or a grade three searcher. You normally want to have Carissa, but you can always draw it later um, when you're digging and put it into uh, put it into the soul. You can get it from this, um, draw onto it. Um, but since we have the the right up here, what we're gonna prioritize is getting the grade three. That's what we want. So we'll go a second. We will um, draw for turn. 
we already have our grade three. So what we would do, we'll prioritize getting our grade two. So we'll play a missing bunny here. We will draw a card and then we'll get our quick shield. And we will look at top seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. So we have a couple options here. Um, we can go for the Chlorina or we can go for Golden Beast Hammer. Hmm. While Chlorina is a little safer, I'll probably end up grabbing, um, we still have a chance to find it with this too though. So I will get, uh, hmm, I don't wanna do this to the question. Um, so in this case, it's either Corina or Golden Beast Tamer. I could show I could, you know, search for her again, but what I want to do is search for another one of those. Hmm. So good. What do I want to do? I have uh, the setup for the extra drive check, so I'll probably go for that. And I can always find, you know, go to Beast Tamer later. So we'll grab this and put a card from our hand to soul. And so in that case, we will um, we'll be putting this quick shield and it'll go away. And then so we have more things to do here. We are attacking this turn. So what we'll do is we'll dig a little deeper to maybe find another one of these or another uh, or golden beast tamer. So I will pay her in the back. And I'll check that five. One, two, three, four, five. So we got all triggers. That Sucks. But that's fine. You know, we have what we need, so it's okay. Even with uh, Chlorina, you know, we can still have an explosive grade three turn. Do that right there, and then we'll have um, our Masquerade Bunny. So, uh, assuming we're not going, you know, we're not going against our, our Heavy Retire Clan, I'll just do this here. Um, like I said in my other videos, you always want to just start, you know, playing the Masquerade Bunny when you can play the Masquerade Bunny because you need to be so charging and getting these bunnies in as, as soon as possible. So, what we'll do, and then we don't want our opponents damage denying, uh, damage denying us or getting rid of our bunny, so we're just going to keep this in the back. So we'll attack and then we'll soul charge with the skill with the bunny. And then draft check, got a heal trigger. Um, we have nothing to heal, but plus in case of the Vanguard. And we will be ending our turn. No, and say our opponent attacks us. Um, seeing as we probably won't be able to get two damage, or you know maybe they crit us, we'll just take one damage. And then it'll be our turn next, so we'll stand and draw. So we got another Masquerade Bunny. So it's a, here's another chance to, you know, maybe find um, uh, Golden Beast Hammer. So we will be playing Corina here. 
Now we have the three or more bunnies for the effect. Um, we can always scoop another bunny in to call something out, or scoop something in to call something out. So our thing is online here, so we will attack and uh, first we'll soul charge. And then we'll use uh, Chlorina skill to, uh, actually before I do that, I'll put this back on top. Because again, we still need to be searching for our um, grade three pieces. So maybe a golden beast timer. So I'll take five, one, two, three, four, five. So there is no golden beast timer, but there is another, um, there is a rewrite, so I'll take the rewrite. Um, helps thin our deck uh, for bigger chances of getting uh, a trigger. So taking that into account, what I will do is I'll get rid of one of these here. Okay, uh, then I will attack. And soul charge. Using uh, Chlorina skill, I will put one of the Amorath's in soul and call out something and I'll call out my uh, amusing button here. So these units back here get plus five. And I get twin drive, so I'll do my twin drive now. First check, Amorath. Second check is uh, Midnight Bunny. It's fine. So eight and eight, and it's uh, 16, 26, 27, 28, 29, 20, or eight and eight is 16. So 21. And at the end, this is able to put itself back in, otherwise, I wouldn't have called it out. You know, and then my opponent's turn, say, you know, my opponent crits us for whatever. So one, two, and they have like a another big thing. You can use your hill guardian for it. You know, stands. And draw. So the party gets started here. So I just scoop up my hands. And I will play the Vanguard here. And then I will be uh, putting first uh, Excel 2. So the marker that you want to use in this deck is Excel 2, just because you, you like I said, it's a very peaceful line and you need hand to, to use these effects. So then I will draw a card. Um, I do have an extra copy of Tele Eats. So I'm actually not afraid to put that one in to Soul with the skill. Or maybe I'll just keep them all. So I'll use uh, Tele Eats' skill. I'll put in uh, Amarath Beast Hammer and uh, Midnight Bunny. And I get to uh, call two. So in this case, I did not find GBT. So um, Clarissa or Clorina will be our vanguard. And I will call out, um, hmm. This here. And then I'll put this down. So you have two cards left. You have uh, your re-rise and you have your um, draw triggers. So next you want to uh, dish out the power. So you did call from soul. So this gets plus five. And this gets plus five. And now you want to count your bunnies. So you have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, six bunnies. So your front row gets six. Quite formidable. And then we start our onslaught here. So first what you want to do is um, attack with your vanguard just in case you have uh, a front trigger. You get a front trigger. So attack the vanguard and I still charge one first. And there is a persona right there, a rewrite. It's fine, we already have two more in hand, so that's okay. And um, so this is uh, 26, the vanguard. And then we do a drive checks. First check, we have a draw trigger. We'll do plus 10 here and draw a card. And second check, we have a heal trigger. We will heal one damage and give um, ten. So the vanguards at 10, 14. Thirty-one. That's already at thirty-one. Um, the next big, biggest column would probably be this one here. So we have it. So you want to open up a lane. You don't want to boost with this if you don't have to. Like say your opponent, you know, didn't get a, a did not get a um, trigger or anything like that. You want to save your booster for your recall. So we'll attack with this here, and this is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 12, this is 14, and that's our spy is open for your Clarina skill. So then you will attack with Clarina, and you do a drive checks. So front, everything gets plus 10 here in the front. Or actually, Lorena skill, you have to use Lorena skill first and put something into soul. And with that, I'll put a uh, draw trigger. Or I'll put one of the re-rise into soul to call something out. And in this case, uh, if you wanted to go for a kill, if this is a kill turn, then you would uh, go with uh, another Amaroth. Or um, if not, you can call out this again to be able to put it back in. And so this will be 16 to the front row now with the front. And so we have this line here. 18, 19, 20, 22, 23, 33, 39, put this back in, with this one, and we can put this one back in and give it plus three. So like really, really big numbers here. So this is 9, uh, 19, 21, 22, 32, 35, 45, 49, 50, 51, 51 to the Vanguard. And so that's all the attacks. It's completely insane. But that uh, is how it's going first and second uh, uh, first and second turns with uh, this deck. I hope this demo has helped you out a lot. Um, um, I know this is quite long. If you want, uh, this is probably really late into the video, but you know, turn up the speed. Just, you know, if you already get the gist of what all the cards do, you know, just turn up the speed and um, go through it a little bit faster. But uh, thanks for watching, and if you enjoy, you know, leave a like and comment, uh, leave a like and a comment, um, and good luck.